my name is Jaira, your host, and how are you? I'm checking in. How's everyone doing? It is currently Palm Sunday, so we are heading into Holy Week, and I'm really looking forward to a few days off next week. Um, That's an understatement. I'm very, very, very excited. (laughs) to a few days off next week and yeah and uh, I mean obviously of course reflecting on what Jesus did for us on the cross 2,000 years ago so um but how are you guys uh truthfully especially after my last episode I wish I could say uh, I turned over a new leaf but it's as if like after that episode was published I got tested even more I gotta be honest y'all last week was not pretty and I knew it I felt it something happened the on Monday last Monday and it completely I'll just say it irritated me the entire week it I couldn't shake it off I knew it was bad um, but I couldn't shake it off the whole week and so I'm just glad last week is over and we're going into a new week by God's grace, and I'm I'm praying that this week is <laughs> much better than the former week. But anyways, I hope you guys are doing well out there. And today, I just wanted to talk about sharing your story and the importance of being vulnerable and sharing your testimony. Um, I have been doing a lot of research on my skin. I know I've been talking about my skin almost like a little bit in every episode ever since episode two regarding my skin, Um, but I am currently in a season where things are happening to my skin that's literally never happened to me since I was a baby, and I obviously don't remember it back then. So what's happening right now, I'm just, it's a whole new world. To me, let's just say. So on Friday, I uh, was uh, listening to some podcasts, specifically from the National Eczema Association, I think. N- Nia, yeah. And um, I, I was so surprised that there was even like a podcast um, dedicated to that. And I just heard so many different stories of people who have eczema and are going through something called topical steroid withdrawal, which I believe is something that I'm going through myself. That's a whole another episode. I won't even get into what that is, but um, you're just basically trying to let your skin heal and it's a process. It gets ugly before it gets better. So anyways, I've been, um, I was just listening to podcast after podcast of these episodes and honestly, like I, I, to, to hear stories and testimonies and um, to be vulnerable is not something totally out of the norm for me. I'm very comfortable in doing that. I think just because I've shared so much on the internet over the past decade and um, being in the church body, you know, it's, it's it, it, and, and being in the small groups that I'm involved with, every week you're just sharing you're just you you constantly are just opening up and sharing and um we encourage that of course because if in order to heal and in order to just kind of get it out you have to share you know what's going on in your life or what's going on in your heart um no matter what the situation may be and so um i've always you know just i've heard so many um I guess nothing really surprises me at this point if anyone ever were to share anything to me. Um, But it's really, it really hits different when you are going through something um, that you're a little uncertain about and you're a little insecure about. And to hear other people go through what you are going through. And so as I'm listening to these podcast episodes and I'm just hearing stories about couples who... um, you know, have um, skin skin issues, skin conditions, or I hear um, specifically there was this one guy who's actually just still in college, and um, his skin was so bad that he actually had to go to the hospital because um, 
like in, an infection because his skin was was so broken and um, oozing because of his eczema. He was sent. He, he had to go to the hospital because he was starting to. Um, there was actually infection. Uh, in his body already it was that severe and he literally almost could have died and you hear all these stories too of um, people who have considered taking their lives because it really it 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 changes your just the way you live the way you socialize um, your mental state for sure takes a toll and I have to say again like I mentioned in episode two I've am nowhere near where what these guys have um ex- are have experienced or are experiencing but i'm definitely feeling you know some like social anxiety um and it's definitely taking some um it, it's it's uh definitely taking a toll mentally you know it's one of my biggest insecurities so as i'm listening to these podcast episodes and I'm uh, there are some where I even listened to twice like I would be I was so in awe I was so taken aback of just how much they overcame and how and and their own story and what they had to go through I was so inspired and I was so encouraged that I would play it again which I don't I normally don't do um I don't really like repeat things like that like episodes podcast episodes like that so that's when I know that something just really hit home for me and so after probably a whole afternoon maybe even longer of just a day of just soaking in all these podcasts I was just like wow this is why we share our stories this is why being vulnerable is so important because you never know how your story is going to affect and inspire and encourage and could change the outlook of a situation to another person. And, um, and I was so encouraged, but then I realized, you know, I, I, I know that some people, um, see being vulnerable as a weakness because of course you are, you are uh, being honest and you are opening up to the side of yourself that you're, that you are insecure about, or a, a problem that you're going through, or a situation that is happening. And uh, some people they don't want to show that side of them because it might, rev- it might seem like they're being weak or like they're powerless or whatever. And I, honestly feel like it, that could be far so it's so far from the truth and the fact that when you are vulnerable and when you do share your story it's actually a strength it's actually a power because you are literally declaring how you're overcoming it if you haven't overcome it yet or how you overcame something if you already did overcome it and that your identity didn't wasn't your identity wasn't found in that problem or your skin condition or a, a, a drastic life event. But instead, you are sharing um, how you overcame it. And I just think it, th- that that in itself, especially as you're sharing it, um, is is does not sound weak to me at all but it sounds confident it sounds courageous bold strong those those that's what I that's what I think when I think of someone sharing their their story and then I of course being me I was like well hold up because obviously the whole bible is consisted of stories true stories um and that in itself says a lot, right? Like if, if God uh, created and breathed his word, compiling stories together, then clearly stories have a power to it. Um, I mean, obviously, it's not the story itself that is the power. It's, it's God um, and his ability and his, his sovereignty. But um, it, 
it, the the use of storytelling is a very powerful thing and i really like what second corinthians chapter 3 2 to 3 says when paul says you yourselves are our letter of recommendation written on our hearts to one known and read by all and you show that you are a letter from christ delivered by us not written not with ink but with the spirit of the living god not on tablets of stone but on the tablets of human hearts and i love what mylifetree.com says about this verse and they said in a time when letters meant so much to the church when written words and testimonies were being sent from place to place to instruct encourage and bring people together paul wrote that your story is important it's meant to be shared so that others can see the work of god in you and they can in turn begin to see the work of god in themselves isn't that so cool i think that uh, i just got i just <laughs> i just i just had a whole thing i um, a little moment like how cool is that so i would encourage you i know it it yes it it can take a lot of courage to share your story but if you feel led if you've gone through something and you feel like it can encourage someone then share it and I, I, I'm not even meaning like online publicly letting it you know be your first Instagram post and you have this whole caption like not necessarily but share it with a friend share it with your group of friends share it with your family um, just you know it doesn't have to be super public but definitely there is a power in sharing your story and just on the flip side of it where I was at because I was on the receiving end um, in this specific time when I was um, when I was listening to these podcast episodes, and um, I also want to encourage that if you are going through something and you feel alone, especially in it, then take initiative to actually seek out others or a group or a community who have gone through something like what you're going through or are going through something like you're going through um and and just immerse yourself with their stories because for sure after hearing some of their stories and some of their testimonies you will have a whole different perspective and outlook on what you're going through and be encouraged and of course who doesn't want to be encouraged these days right and i i am still going back to this one episode of the, the the one guy who went to who had to go to the hospital and at the end of the episode sorry if you can hear our dog barking um but at the end of the episode the interviewer asked him um like if something like um would you ever change you know what happened to you if you could and this college student who went to the hospital who had social anxiety who literally couldn't go who 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 couldn't um go to school um he couldn't even go outside because he was so insecure and physically literally hurting from his wounds he said you know what? No, I wouldn't. And I know that sounds really crazy now, um, especially after sharing all that I went through, but I wouldn't be the person I am today and have the perspective and the outlook on life and how valuable it is today if I didn't go through what I went through. I'm paraphrasing, but it was something similar to that. And I was like, you know, <laughs> you know what same bro same i'm with you so if you are in the receiving end you need some you need to receive something like that then just go out there find your people find your group to help you um to help you go through that and support you in that and on the other end if you feel led and you want to share your story and you really believe it can help others then do that as well. So um, that's all that I have for today. I think that was just out of the crazy and mm, not <laughs> not very um, pleasant week that it was last week. That was probably the highlight of my week last week. So 
I hope sharing how sharing stories encouraged you guys. And um, I just thank you again for being with me for these last few minutes. And I will catch you guys on the next episode. I love you guys. Thanks for all of your support. Don't forget to rate and review this podcast wherever you're listening. And let's never forget, and as we're sharing our stories, as we are on the receiving end, let's get radiant from the inside out. Bye, guys. Have a good one.